Today we will be discussing the movement disorder of Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is a genetic disorder that causes the brain's neurons to pro progressively degenerate over time. This is caused by mutations in the HTT gene. Influences on motor development include a decline in simple motor tasks as well as cognitive development. Common signs and symptoms usually appear in adults ranging from 35 to 44 years of age. After being diagnosed with Huntington's disease, patients are expected to live 15 to 20 years after the diagnosis. When diagnosing Huntington's disease, specialists will conduct simple tests on motor skills, such as testing reflexes, muscle strength, balance, as well as sensory skills and psychiatric symptoms. These include mood and mental status. If these motor skills appear to be difficult for the individual, a genetic test may be administered to analyze if a defective HTT gene is present. Influences on motor skills. Huntington's disease negatively influences motor skills as a common declination starts to occur. Symptoms arising from these influences are divided into three stages. As each stage progresses, symptoms continually get worse. In the early stage, an individual can expect a change in coordination, involuntary muscle movements, and rigidity. In the middle stage, there will be a presence of chorea, dystonia, having trouble walking, and undergoing problems with talking and swallowing. In the late stage, an individual can expect severe, severe chorea, bradykinesia, not being able to speak or walk, and extreme weight loss. Influences on cognitive development. Similar to the influences of motor skills, Huntington's disease significantly declines the development of cognitive skills. It can be divided into two stages, including the early stage and the late stage. An individual can expect symptoms of apathy, irritability, mood swings, aggression, and the formation of several mental illnesses, including depression, anxiety, and panic disorders when the early stage is present. In the later stage, there will be a decrease in concentration, a decrease in organizational skills, and difficulty in performing intellectual tasks. Once an individual enters the later stage of symptoms, they can no longer manage or perform simple daily activities and usually require the assistance of a nurse. Huntington's disease has a large impact on daily function. Notably, it can cause many movement disorders, cognitive disorders, as well as psychiatric disorders, and can influence financial management and sleep. Patients may experience involuntary movements and muscle issues such as rigidity, slow or abnormal eye movements, difficulty with posture and balance, and difficulty with speech or swallowing. Cognitive disorder symptoms include difficulty organizing, prioritizing, or focusing on tasks, lack of flexibility or the tendency to get stuck on a thought, behavior or action, lack of impulse, acting without thinking and sexual promiscity, lack of awareness of one's own behaviors and abilities, slowness in processing thoughts or finding words, and even difficulty in learning new information. Symptoms of psychiatric disorders include irritability, sadness or apathy, social withdrawal, insomnia, fatigue, and loss of energy, frequent thoughts of death, dying, or suicide. Other common psychiatric disorders include obsessive compulsive disorder, mania, and bipolar disorder. Important tasks are also affected by Huntington's disease. Financial management is one to note. Patients reported significantly greater declines in their ability to manage finances. On the capacity measure of financial management, Huntington's disease patients perform significantly below healthy adults. As for what concerns sleep, the most common sleep problems for Huntington's disease patients consist of insomnia, difficulties in falling asleep, frequent nocturnal awakenings, and excessive daytime sleepiness. Thankfully, there exist many current interventions. However, none of these are cures. Accommodations include medication, psychotherapy, speech therapy, 
physical therapy, as well as occupational therapy. Medications include antipsychotic drugs and other medications that may help suppress involuntary movements. Drugs to control movement include xenazine and ostidu, which suppress the involuntary movements associated with Huntington's disease. To help patients deal with their symptoms, a psychotherapist, psychiatrist, psychologist, or clinical social worker can provide therapy to help with behavioral problems, developing coping strategies, managing expectations during progression of the disease, and to facilitate effective communication among family members. A speech therapist can also help improve the ability to speak clearly or teach a patient to use communication devices such as a board covered with pictures of everyday items and activities. Physical therapy can also be beneficial to patients who are experiencing physical symptoms. A physical therapist can instruct appropriate and safe exercises that enhance strength, flexibility, balance, and coordination. Occupational therapy can be beneficial for patients who are experiencing difficulties in daily function. An occupational therapist can assist patients with Huntington's disease with daily tasks and activities. There also exist many strategies to help facilitate the life of a Huntington's disease patient. Strategies may include handrails at home, assistive devices for activities such as bathing and dressing, as well as eating and drinking utensils adapted for people with limited fine motor skills.